Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, um, let's take a look and see what's going on in your life. I know I looked at your your planets and I made a couple notes on my daughter. I love this thing. Um, so let's see. Um, you right now, your concerns are probably um, work, health, um, maybe paying the bills, that kind of thing. Um, you at the moment, like in the, you know, today, yesterday, tomorrow, like the, for these few days, um, you're going after what you want in your career. Um, so maybe that's part of what your concerns are is, you know, you're going after what you want. Maybe you're, maybe you've put something in motion and now you're, you're going to see, you know, that's where your concerns are is your work. So it could be that. So, and also I would just say, um, you're going to have, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of instability and big changes in your money and with respect to your money and your resources and that, but that's not like a, you know, a short term thing. That's kind of a, over the course of, let's see, from 2018 to, it's usually about seven years, I think. So 2025 ish. That's Joey. He got banished to the bathroom because he did something grody or tried to try to in the, the kitchen. So I was like, Nope. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. Um, we're going to use Wizard's Tarot, which I've been using for a lot of the reads. Um, let's see what's going on. Look at my chicken scratch, by the way. <laughs> Look at this chicken scratch. I was in a hurry, and so I just real quickly scribbled it. <laughs> you can't even... What does it say? <laughs> like, the word you? I dropped... I didn't even put the you on it. It's, it's yo. You... What is it? You, yo want in career, going after what you want in career. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um, so let's see. Take a look. Okay. So do we want to just cut through, cut straight to love? Is that what we want to cut straight to? You want to talk about love? Well, this weekend you're going to be probably looking at this because that's when the man's going to be in your seventh. So let's see. Eight of Cups, walking away from something unfulfilling. You may be doing that this weekend. Eight of Wands, moving quickly towards what you want. Or quickly moving on. It's, it's fast moving. You got two eights. Joey, we hear you, bud. We hear. I know. I know. You're mad. Uh, the World card. You may be doing some traveling. Oh, and the Tower. Dude, what is with the... Okay, so look at all these... I'm not opening the door. I'm not opening the door. It ain't happening, bud. Uh, you think about what you did <laughs> or tried to do. <laughs> um, so in a tarot deck, there's 78 cards, 22 of which are major arcana. And that shows like big life changes, big things, right? So you have three out of the five cards are major arcana. When you have a lot of major arcana in a spread, that's usually significant. That means something significant is going on, something happening. Because um, you have the tower. That's <laughs> With the Eight of Cups and the tower, I feel like there's going to be something or someone that you say peace out to. Is it permanent? I don't know. But at least for now, it looks like you're like, I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> or, you know, whatever it is. Could be a job, could be a lover, could be, you know, a friendship, could, whatever. Whatever it is. I have a feeling it's a lever because the first card that came out is the lever's card in the, um, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I stepped on a cat. <laughs> I stepped on a cat. Jesus. <laughs> How do you know when you have too many pets? I'm just kidding. How do you know when you have a lot of pets? When you put your feet down and go to stand up and step on a cat. <laughs> and he was not thrilled about that. I don't know where he went. All right. So this is the, <laughs> this is the card. The first card that came out. The lover's card in the wizard's tarot. That's so obviously majority of you, this is, it's going to be a love thing. So you're going to be saying peace out to somebody that you just don't feel like, um, the love is there. You're not, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling satisfied. Um, so you're going to quickly, it looks like if I look at the progression, here's a lover, you're walking away from them. You're quickly moving, moving fast, um, getting yourself out there in the world. Um, and just making big changes. So let's, let's take a look though. I almost want to try something new and like get a card 
well, I'll do that at the end. Okay, so we'll, we'll put um, some Oracle cards on them afterwards. All right, so let's take a look at what is this Lover's card? Oh, and what is the bottom of the deck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, heartbreak. So at the bottom of the deck, look at this. That's the Three of Swords in the Wizard's Tarot. So, yeah, a lot of you all are going through some kind of breakup. Um, if it's not happening yet, <laughs> if it hasn't happened yet, you're gonna be cha you're gonna be choosing to do that. So, um, Page of Wands, and it could be, and the Hangman, um, and it could be somebody who is just kind of immature, and makes you feel like they're leaving you hanging. It makes you feel stuck, and you're tired of waiting, feeling stuck. Um, so what is Eight of Cups? What exactly are you walking away from? Two of Wands. Um, decision making or choosing a path. Um, Page of Pentacles. And he, he's not coming in. So making a new start. Well, a message of stability. So Eight of Cups, you're walking away from probably a very immature person who can't decide what they want, so, or doesn't seem to be good at making decisions, so, um, you're, you're choosing a different path. Eight of Cups clarified by the Two of Wands and the, the Page of Pentacles to make a, a, a new, um, fuck a duck, man, what, what? Joey, <laughs> don't make me start over with, <laughs> I just, I just started this video over because of him, because I flipped out. I didn't I hurt him or anything like that. I just yelled at him but, and chased him into the bathroom. So, new start for stability. You want to be, you want stability. You don't want to feel like you're hanging. You don't want to wait for somebody to make a decision. You're kind of over that bullshit. All right, so eight of wands, you're no. quick. <laughs> okay, let's, let's have a, Let's have the Thursday night fights. You want to fight? I don't know if you can see baby. Baby wants to mix it up with Joey, I guess. All right, so, Jesus. Um, Eight of Wands, you quickly moving on, moving forward. Wow. Are you choosing somebody new, Aries? Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's somebody new coming along. You have new love coming. Um, you are going to be, do I want to say, in, I don't want to say impulsive, but you're just going to say fuck it and make and just be willing to, because you get the eight of wands clarified by the two of cups. That's sharing love. Uh, the full card, just taking a risk. The world card is clarified by, if I swear to God, if I get the six of cups though, I'm gonna be eating my own words because I'll be like, oh, the, the past is returned, you know. Um, the nine of wands. So, I mean, you're, you're putting yourself out there. You're, you're cautious, but you're putting yourself out there. Um, and you're trying to manifest something new. So what is this tower? What's this blow up, this big change? Ace of pentacles, um, a new start. because you felt kind of left out in the cold and poor and heartbroken. You're like, fuck that. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards. So um, I'm gonna do a couple of these. So we're gonna do um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and we're gonna do um, spell casting Oracle. I'm even gonna do Psychic Terror of the Heart. We'll do that too. We're only at nine minutes, so we got a couple minutes. I'm not gonna make this a long video, but you know, I want to share some of these, and then we'll do six cards down as destiny, and then we'll do on um, Taurus next. All right, so let's talk about. Uh, let's just get oracle cards here. Sisters of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. Okay, and then the phoenix, resurrection, surrender to change. Yep, yeah, you're doing that, and congratulations. That's that's good. In the center of the reading, I know you can't see this, but in the very center here is the Two of Cups. In because there's 15 cards, and the very heart of it is the the Two of Cups. That's um, sharing love. So that's what this is all about. 
the very center of the whole thing, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Fool card. So you are quickly moving on to share love. You're willing to share with somebody new. Um, happiness, okay, and dreams, all right. And then from Psychic Tear of the Heart, you know what, I don't know, I, I guess... I have to stop this video. I gotta stop this car. <laughs> Someone's getting their ass beat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but isn't that what moms used to say way back in the day? If I gotta stop this car. Or I guess dad would say it, whatever, whoever. <laughs> Someone's getting it. All right, so you wait awaiting results. So yeah, so you have, you've decided to make changes and confront interesting confront confront your shadow you look at this look at this to me that looks like you it says confront but it looks like you're looking at your shadow confront your shadow um and notice the moon moon is emotions so confront your past and how you've done things how how you have maybe made mistakes or done things differently in the past than you wish you or wish you had done them differently um have trust issues or not sharing or oversharing or trusting too much or not trusting enough have they you know been an issue because it says confront and then also you're confronting your own shadow i don't know what card this is and i know that psychic terror of the heart is a very strange deck and number 18 let me see all right, bear with me one second. I'm gonna put on the, I'm so vain, I don't want people to see me in these glasses, glasses. Um, so in the black one, the red, black border, um, what does it, where is it? Shit. No, not the, not the dogs too, not the dogs too, Jesus. Not the dogs too. Oh, okay, it's Major Arcana, confront. So what is that one? I don't know. I don't remember what card 18 is. Um, shit. <laughs> Here I go cussing again. All right. So 18 is page 65. All right. So it's supposed to be like, does it say? Uh, the moon. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Cause there's a giant moon in there. Um, that sounds funny. All right, so introspection and clarity. So keywords are fear, question, explore, courage, illusion, clarity. Um, I examine my feelings about relationships and release what is no longer my truth. Okay, so examine how you do things, how you've done things in the past. Um, all right, so six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we're going to go on to Taurus. Hopefully, I don't know if this resonates at all, um, if it is in any way, shape, or form helped. Feel free to hit the like button, <laughs> share if you want. Um, so six cards, Donna's Destiny, and we're doing Taurus, and let's see. Watch your diet. Everybody keeps getting that. Apply for the job. That going after what you want in your career, apply for the job. You will meet a relative of theirs, all right, so I don't, I guess that's your ex or current, soon to be ex, I don't know. Redecorate your living space, could be a new person. Um, and it's difficult for them to apologize. Well, that's too bad. And they miss you. All right, so, and on the bottom of the deck, they can't be trusted. That could be why there's a tower moment going on. Um, here, I don't know how to, we'll do it like this. All right, Aries, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next week. All right.